Any Smash game that isn't melee seems to have a stigma that you have to play lame and patient to win. However, some of Smash Ultimate's best players are also the most flashy and aggressive ones. We are going to be looking at Nairo and Light's neutral to see how they keep the pace of a match fast while also being some of the top players in the world. No, don't try and go back, you haven't accidentally clicked away. This is Zoella and Alfie and there's a very good reason why I'm showing you this. Many people would have played this game before and the rules are simple. You have to slap your opponent's hand without them pulling away and dodging your slap. If they dodge your slap successfully, it's their turn to slap. As we see here, Alfie's slap is easily dodged straight away. However, Zoella feigns a slap and then successfully slaps Alfie. The purpose of this video is to show that even if you know exactly how your opponent wants to attack you, and exactly what to do to avoid their attack, using feints and mixing up your timings on an attack, you can still hit your opponent. Melee, the most aggressive and fast paced smash game, most of the time. And who pops into your head when you think of the most crazy and aggressive player? Don't be yet! This is it! The high recovery again. Mango, what, what is this? What is what this? this? You can't just force stock me, Mango! Oh my god. There's a lot of anticipation here. That's it! That's, That's it. it! That's it! That's it! And Mango! Mango, he's and crazy. Mango Always going balls to the walls, attacking non-stop. Or is he? Yeah, a lot of Falcos can also learn from the like, you know, doing lasers, moving back, dash dancing. Not always just go like straight in. Mix ups, mix ups are really important. And since it, since it's like, uh, like a, a stigma against like, you know, playing neutral even sometimes, like ever dashing back. But even at high level play, we do see like even someone like Mango that has the reputation of like always going in. He does a lot of like. You know, laser, dash dance, waiting, trying to get them to act first, and then he goes in. It's really important. A lot of, like, low-level, like, local Falco players, they just, like, jump in every time. And then they just, you know, blame people, playing lane for why they're losing. But even Mango, Mango is picking his spots really nicely. Like, laser, dash dance, waiting, baiting. You gotta make it hard for your opponent to know when you're going in. That's why the idea of like never attacking or always attacking is, uh, you know, really flawed. That was a long clip, but I think it's a perfect explanation on why if you want to play aggressive, you're going to have to mix up your timings on approaches with feints. When playing aggressive, it's also important to try and land combo starters. Playing aggressive means you're forcing risky neutral interactions. However, if you do twice as much damage every time you win neutral, compared to when your opponent wins neutral, you can lose neutral almost twice as much and still be winning. As we see, Nairo's aggressive neutral gets stopped and he takes 13%. However, he simply goes in aggressive again with a Nair combo starter, and this time it hits, leading to 47%. And here is another similar situation. Light also uses his same tactic versus anti here. He fishes for down tilt and isn't even punished for the ones he misses, but gets a nice combo off the one he hits. Mixing up timings to bait out opponents' attacks as well as out damaging opponents is how Nairo and Light deal with getting attacked in neutral. However, there are two other ways opponents can avoid getting hit to win neutral. That's with shield and with movement. First, let's look at how to deal with opponents shielding in neutral. If you're fishing for combo starters and your opponent shields, you of course want to make your move safe on shield. However, often when being aggressive, it is impossible to fade back enough so that your move can be safe, so it's better to cross up your opponent's shield so that your move is safe. Against opponents who act out of shield immediately trying to hit you or grab you, you want to attack their shield with a safe move, and then quickly attack again to punish them attacking or grabbing out of shield. Light often quickly follows up safe shield pressure with an up tilt, as it's quick and is also another combo starter, which is what you want to look to hit when being aggressive. Nairo plays Palutena so he doesn't have the luxury of quick normals like Fox does, so he often instead looks to hit another Nair after doing a safe Nair to punish people who are immediately acting out of shield. This would generally condition your opponent to hold shield as they want to wait and punish what they know is 100% not safe on shield. You need to realize when your opponent is playing patient and shield like this, 
and use grabs to stop your opponent feeling comfortable in shield. As we see here, Light initially gets punished for trying to catch Mr. E dropping shield with an up tilt. However, Light quickly adapts and begins hitting his shield and immediately grabbing to catch Mr. E patiently waiting in shield. Many opponents will want to avoid this on shield mix up altogether and either jump or roll away from this pressure. It's an obvious problem to solve that if your opponent is constantly jumping out of shield, to hit their shield and then jump with an aerial to catch their escape out of shield. Or if they roll out of shield, to run and hit them for it. But the tricky part is adapting and figuring out what your opponent is wanting to do, and the speed at which Nairo and Light adapt is what makes them top players. This transitions well into catching movement. While you are mixing up your timings and faking out approaches, you should be watching your opponent to see how they are wanting to avoid your fake approaches. If you can catch onto a habit like they're trying to jump to avoid you, simply jump up and hit them. If they're running along the ground in and out, catch onto their movement and overshoot to catch them. Overshooting is vital when playing aggressive. Without overshooting, you're going to look like this. Your neutral constantly being outspaced, and you're going to feel like a dumb bull when your opponent is that guy with a cape constantly baiting you into attacking so they can outspace you and punish you. However, overshooting is when you run all the way to catch where your opponent is going, not where they are. Top players are constantly overshooting, but sometimes it's not obvious and you simply wonder why Nairo is able to run up and aerial his opponents, but when you do it, you get punished. The secret is overshooting. I wanted to have a look at how Nairo adapts his aggressive style to catch movement. In this first set vs light, I noticed he used a lot of up smash because he knows Fox likes to jump around in neutral. Man, right. On this uh, secondary that he has here, Fox. Uh-huh. And now he's staying kind of... Have to use our tools back to our stream, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's actually great. However, vs Samsora, he doesn't use any up smash in neutral because he knew Samsora wanted to dash around and float close to the ground. So he instead constantly uses grabs to catch his movement. In fact, in this one sequence, Nairo uses grab more than he did in a whole game versus Light. Does land that down air, but Nairo immediately getting out of dodge. Lands the grab. What's the option? Ooh, Samsora swinging big and zero suit with that long grab range. She can pick up those whiff forward airs fairly easily. Oh, it's Samsora rolling in now. Maybe a bit scared to waste too much time on the ledge, but now being over, you know, hasty getting onto the stage, just pulling off here for Nairo. It's working out great, punishing those hasty maneuvers to get on stage. Man, and Nairo, Nairo's so scary. This will create a cycle. Once you use your attacks well to stop your opponent from moving around, they will feel scared and want to use defensive options like shield. Then when you begin safely pressuring their shield and landing grabs, they will want to avoid shielding and move around again. Staying one step ahead of your opponent in this back and forth is vital and can lead to your opponent feeling like they have no options or room to breathe in neutral, which will make them even easier to read. Finally, I want to bring up one last thing. Imagine if you had a move you could use in neutral that only had one weakness. It beat every option your opponent has except one, and you know that you're not going to get hit while running in aggressively unless your opponent hard calls you out with their one move. The answer is shield. Shield is an excellent tool for putting on pressure. Simply running in aggressively and shielding can lead to you winning neutral many times as it's unlikely your opponent is going to read that you will approach with shield and when you will approach with shield. If you're mixing it up well with the other options mentioned in this video, shield is great. Running up and shielding can help you safely download how your opponent reacts to your approaches and can also lead to you straight up winning neutral if your opponent hits you unsafely. Many top players will aggressively use shield, but if it doesn't lead to anything, immediately act out of shield so their opponent never has time to react to their shield. Before we look at some examples, I wanted to just say thank you for watching this video. It certainly was tough trying to break down neutral into a simpler form, and although it was a struggle to make this video, I definitely learnt a lot while making it, so hopefully you can take at least one thing away from it too. Please let me know what video you want to see next and leave your thoughts about this video in the comments. Thanks!
Again, as uh, Mars evens out the stock. Yeah. It's very, oh man, it's very hard to finish the thought talking about these two. It's so explosive. They play so fast. Yep. And that was a beautiful stun into the whip. Very well done by Mars. And he's waiting for Elegant to hit a button. You can tell him he's kind of holding forward and then backing up. Set up really much of anything. Oh my goodness. Lonesome so far doesn't know what the stage looks like. He's trying to get back on. A lot of percent, though. He shouldn't be getting his percent right here, Zane. He should have taken that stock. Oh, and he goes! Oh! And Mango takes it! Pops off!